is your chemistry teacher, Mrs. Fabi, and I'll be taking chemistry SS1. I will be considering the topic gay gas laws. I will be treating gay losers law of combining volumes. This law describes the, combi the combining volumes of gases. And this law is only applicable to gases. Now, gay losers law of combining volumes states that when gases react, they do so in volumes which are simple ratios to one another and to the volumes of the products if gaseous, provided the temperature and pressure remain constant. For example, when hydrogen combines with oxygen to produce steam, from the equation of reaction, we have two volumes of hydrogen combining with one volume of oxygen to produce two volumes of steam. Now, it is called steam because this water molecule is in gaseous form. Now, volume, we have two hydrogen gas molecules combining with one, molecule, uh, one oxygen gas molecule to produce two molecules of steam. Now, from gay losers ratio, we have ratio 2 of hydrogen gas to 1 of oxygen gas to produce 2 of steam. Now, the second example where we have hydrogen gas reacting with chlorine gas to produce hydrogen chloride gas. Now, the volume is ratio 1 to 1 to give 2. Now, the loser's ratio will be 1 ratio 1 to 2. Now, I want you to note one thing that the volumes of the reactant do not always equal to the sum of the volume, do not always equal to the sum of the volume of the product. For example, where we have one with one to produce two. It's not always true for all equation of reaction. Because we have two to ratio one here to produce two instead of three. So I want you to note that. Now, we now go to the sample problems. Now, number one, what volume of oxygen is required to completely burn 45 cm cube of methane? This is a formula. If all the gases are measured at STP, then this is a big part of the question. What is the total volume of the products of the reaction? Now, solution. The equation of reaction is written thus. We have methane gas reacting with oxygen gas to produce carbon four oxide and steam. Now, from gay losers ratio, we have one molecule of methane reacting with two molecules of oxygen. You can see it here, I put one to ratio two. To produce one molecule of carbon four oxide and two molecules of steam. Now, it means that one cm cube of methane requires two cm cube of oxygen. So therefore, from the question, 45 cm cube of methane will require, then we cross multiply, we have two times 45 divided by one. Then you have 90 cm cube of oxygen required to completely burn methane gas. Now, the B part of the question, from the equation, one cm cube of methane produces one cm cube of carbon four oxide. Now, therefore, 45 cm cube of methane we produce, you cross multiply, 
41 times 1 divided by 1 to get 45 cm cube of carbon four oxide that is being produced. Now, also 1 cm cube of methane produces 2 cm cube of steam. Therefore, 45 cm cube of methane we produce, you cross multiply, 2 times 45 divided by 1 and you will get 90 cm cube of steam being produced. Thus, the total volume of the products will be 45 cm cube plus 90 cm cube and you will get 135 cm cube of products. Now, this is the second example. We are going to consider this question. 20 cm cube of carbon 2 oxide is the formula CO has packed with 20 cm cube of oxygen. He all the volume of gases are measured at STP. Calculate the volume of the residual gases after sparking. Now, this is the solution. The equation of reaction is this. You have two molecules of carbon two oxide reacting with one molecule of oxygen gas to give you two molecules of carbon four oxide. Now, this is the combining volumes. We have two molecules combining with one volume of oxygen gas to produce two molecules of carbon four oxide gas. Now, volumes before sparking, we have from the question 20 cm cube of carbon two oxide. Can you see it here? Now, being sparked with 20 cm cube of oxygen, this is the 20 cm cube. Now, this is before sparking, so there is no product at this time. That's why we have zero cm cube here. Now, reacting volumes. When the two gases combine together to produce um, carbon four oxide, then you have, the, from the combining volume, you have 20 cm cube reacting with half of this. That is half of this 20 cm cube. And that is 10 cm cube. From the combining volumes, you have one reacting with two. So from here, you will have 10 cm cube reacting with 20 cm cube. And the product form, which is carbon four oxide, 20 cm cube. Now, volumes after sparking. Now, carbon two oxide gas is being used up with 10 cm cube of uh, 10 cm cube of oxygen gas that is remaining. It was only 10 cm cube that is being used up during the reaction. So the remaining 10 is is here. Is written here. Then you have the product form is 20 cm cube of carbon four oxide. Now to calculate the volume of residual gases, it means we you have to calculate all reacted oxygen plus carbon four oxide formed. So now the unreacted oxygen, which is 10 cm cube here, is this. And the carbon four oxide form is 20 cm cube from here. Then when you add the two together, you have 30 cm cube, which is the volume of the residual gases being formed. 